like I don't feel comfortable either. It's yeah, not nobody, being a camera. Nobody does. Yeah. She doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> She's a nice lady, but she doesn't feel comfortable. Nobody really does. But we're really trying to educate the public here as I just try to explain to her off camera. So um, all I'm really, all I, I tell you, I'll leave you off camera and I'll quote you, mm -hmm. okay? That you need what time or what uh, is required now? Ten days. No, that's just for copies. It says, uh, all agency I tend to decide whether copies will be provided. You see the distinction? The records must provide uh, access is immediate. Access is immediate and allowed at all times during business hours. Staff need not disrupt operations to allow immediate access, but a decision whether to grant access must be prompt. Now, if I were to ask for copies, then you would have 10 days. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And, but I'm not asking for copies. I'm only asking for access. You understand? So we made that distinction. I kind of figured they'd try to do that and then, uh, say, that, well, we've got 10 days you now to do. I'm not asking for copies, only access. And if there's a delay in, uh, in allowing that access, then they're in violation of the law. That's why I specifically didn't ask for copies. Um, uh, actually, they're, they're obligated to provide copies because we just discussed that uh, they, they may never substitute um, any other form of records for the actual copies, the printed version of it. And uh, so far, um, we've got two uncomfortable people that uh, don't mind saying so, but hey, tough luck, you know? Okay, so basically the city's saying that they've, uh, they've grown accustomed to uh, allowing themselves 10 days to provide the information. That is a misunderstanding, folks, because as we just saw, the immediate the access has to be immediate. They have 10, ten days to consider or not whether or not they uh, uh, provide copies. And that is in the case of, uh, if I were to ask, uh, let's say, for uh, 100 copies of all the records, but all I've done here is to ask for uh, the, uh, the records of a specific day, uh, another specific day, and those records are available. So the 10-day, uh, the 10-day, uh, we'll get back to you thing, is not c uh, consistent with state law. Good enough. Yeah, I, I want to be. A, you understand? I need to transcribe it. The, the, what she says. <laughs> I don't like transcribing either. Last time I sat down with like a, a 10 minute, you know, recording to transcribe. Oh, God. I was like, I couldn't even get through a sentence. It was like, and this and that, you know, that, that, and then stop, you know. It took me two hours to get through uh, about 10 minutes of recorded data. It gave me a headache, too. So, that's, I'm not trying to just, you know, be in your face type thing. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, it's very important uh, not to misquote somebody as well. Um, in the old days, uh, a reporter would, would have his notebooks, you know, and um, that was his notes. And if he wrote down something in his notes, he would go back, you know, and then fill in the blanks, but nowadays there's really no excuse for, for not being accurate, I mean, 100% of the time. And if someone says, well, you didn't say, I didn't say that, then you got some, you know, some protection. So we're still, uh, basically we're discussing the, um, that the access is immediate um, clause versus the agency has 10 days to decide if copies will be provided. Uh, the two, two different things. Um, access is immediate and an agency has 10 days to decide if copies will be provided. And um, in a lot of cases, I think the, uh, the agencies involved would prefer to take the 10 days to decide <laughs> whether they want to honor the request, but uh, that's not what the law says. Yeah.
course, we uh, we also know from experience that uh, <clears throat> this is usually the point where uh, uncomfortable um, city employees usually call the cops and uh, make an allegation of some kind against the, uh, the reporter, especially this one. So we'll see if this develops into a, uh, a police response situation because uh, cops around here, um, uh, well, especially around here, but uh, across the board pretty much. I uh, don't like this particular journalist doing stuff like this. <sighs> hey, what are you going to do? This is where I went to school for, so uh, tough luck. No, no, I'm just, I'm, I wanted to ask her a quote. That's why I'll, I'll name it down here and I hope that it picks it up. But, and so what I'm making a concession about, uh, about coming back, but as far as uh, leaving a written a uh, document laying around or, uh, you know, uh, making other concessions that, that are not consistent with state law. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> the nice lady here, his name is, what's your name? Norma. You're Norma? Yeah. Yeah. She said that uh, she'll try to honor the request, which uh, sounds reasonable, and I've agreed to be reasonable and come back uh, later so in the you afternoon. Would like to take a seat and just wait, or? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to get started on the report, and then, uh, you know, by, frankly, by the end of the day, it's fine with me. But, we'll um, have a response for you at the end of the day. Yeah, but what if I'm trying possible, to do is follow the possible. law exactly as it's worded, because uh, that's the purpose of it. It's supposed to be educational. You know, this is how we do it. And, and if people see it in my report and read it and say, well, you didn't. If the information you, is accessible, that yeah. information is provided. Right, if, right. If accessible, and right. what based well, on what you're providing, it's it's a different agency. It's an no, outgoing. Yeah. If I were to go to all three uh, places, and and I might, you know, because I've got the time to do it. Each one. Did you I'll, want then, to I'll, then I'll go Let ahead and record experience. Let me make a copy of this to have this. Did you want me to take this in or not? Mm, or did no, you want to come back? No, we, no, we just guess just making available and and I'm. Taken the position that I think it's I don't reasonable. Have that, I don't have that information here, so yeah. if you don't leave it here, I haven't copied no. it down. I don't know what you're looking. I need to write it down, or I need to make a copy of this request. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Well, um, go ahead and write it down yourself, though. and that would just be the 123 and 124, uh, 115 and 116. Uh, Is it, may because, I make a copy of this? Uh, uh, we did. It. We did timestamp it then. Right. So let me scratch that out then. If you're well, not allowing no. us to keep me. No, this is, no, this is, this let, is part let me, of it. Let me help this gentleman. Yeah. You, take, you have a seat and I'll help this gentleman. Let's have a summon for me, authorized uh, person. So I've agreed to uh, to return, but uh, making um, the records available is uh, doesn't require any uh, ID. It doesn't require contact information. It doesn't require a written form, and so I'm not going to provide uh, those things. Um, all I've asked is that the records become available, and I've uh, offered the information uh, to specify which. Uh, which records I was interested in, which is all I'm obligated to do under the law. I will make the concession about uh, about returning later to give him time to uh, to do that, but I'm going to um, uh, keep the form because I'm not obligated to fill it out. And we'll see that if um, within a reasonable period of time the records are indeed made available.